Hey guys, so I just want to do a quick video here, fun video, just with my iPhone 6 clone here. And just because I just recently got the uh, Galaxy S6 clone, let's just um, compare them here a little bit, see which one is faster. So the iPhone 6 clone came last year, uh, but this new like glass, uh, glass back uh, Galaxy S6 clone is uh, new. As you can see also on the front side, it can look like the real deal, but it's not. So let's just start them up here. Okay, let's go. So you can see that uh, getting up here wow yeah definitely some faster startup speeds here for the iPhone 6 clone and you can see this one is running under 4.3 I'm pretty sure it might be wrong though uh, versus the Galaxy Galaxy S6 clone here, which is running on, I think, Android 4.4 KitKat. I also did run a Geekbench test. You can see here the TouchWiz UI, of course. This iPhone 6 clone here is not running iOS. Because uh, they can't uh, load that on the device. But Android 4.4 according to that one. But uh, let's just go back. You can see here when I... Did a Geekbench test. Huh. Do I have to rerun it? Okay. Let's do that. Let's run these at the same time. And see which one's the most powerful. Of course, there are different variants. There are different clones out there with different internals. Uh, but these cost around, I think, uh, 100 euro these clones so you can kind of get an idea of the performance here in Geekbench uh, compared to the real deal looks like the iPhone 6 clone is a little bit faster but uh, the S6 clone is not that far behind Let's see. Yeah, the iPhone 6 clone is still a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of an advantage over here. Let's see, it's soon finished, which is good news. You can kind of compare it against your phone because the Geekbench 3 app is well in the Play Store for everyone run, that runs Android at least, or also for our iOS users. Yeah, single core score 353, and uh, let's see how kind of score we get. I'm pretty sure on like the iPhone 4, for example, you do get a single core score of around 200. I'm pretty sure it's something like that. Um, let's see here, the iPhone 6 clone is uh, struggling a little bit behind. Hopefully it won't lag behind that much. Uh, when the final score arrives here, testing all the different things, uploading results. Wow, yeah, pretty familiar actually. So that's good news because you can kind of see, I mean, both are pretty okay in performance. So, um, yeah, quickly a video, checking that out. Hopefully, you enjoyed and 
Have an awesome day. Peace.